Hello guys and welcome back to the Time Bomb channel, of course with your host The Bombardier. And today on the channel I've got a sort of a follow-up uh, video uh, review after the uh, review that I did the other month about the uh, 1243000 uh, Rolex Oyster Perpetual but the silver version. Um, which I think I bizarrely named the silver server, surfer, so yeah, I suppose in, <laughs> in, in, in turn I should name this one uh, the, the Hot Sauce Committee, I think in tribute to the Beastie Boys. Uh, this watch has been uh, lent into the channel, um, so I'm going to be fumbling around with uh, the white gloves on today, um, which doesn't make uh, the operation of uh, tactile uh, cameras and things like that all the... Uh, all the all the easier so uh, yeah somebody asked me why did you cut the fingertips off uh, yeah maybe I should get some uh, tactile uh, gloves anyway I'm going to shut up right so um, why am I talking about hot sauce why is there a bottle of uh, Tabasco on the uh, watch box um, well reference being is a uh, couple of things so this particular one we're going to be looking at today is called the uh, coral red uh, version and as you can see, that's what it looks like. Uh, but my recollection of uh, Coral Red uh, was that it looks uh, something a little bit more like this. And this watch uh, very much doesn't. That's not a complaint. Um, it's, it's basically just flagging it up for reference purposes. If you're considering buying this one online without having seen it, um, then you're not going to be getting a Ferrari Red. I think you're going to be getting, ta -da, yes, more of a, um, oh, I think there's a real similarity <laughs> between that, <laughs> that Tabasco and this red orange. Um, I'm also using the, the Tabasco because I think this is a very hot watch. It's hot in many senses. Um, the price of it um, since it came out the other month has gone up, you know, 25, 35, 40 percent markup. So it's super hot. But not only that, that, that colorway, <laughs> that dial <laughs> really does suggest something quite spicy. Admittedly, though, and unfortunately, here in, the st the, in my study, you're only going to be getting one light perspective. So again, bear in mind that this color is going to change depending on where you are. So yeah, so on a beach, um, that, that red orange is going to look very different to what you're actually seeing here now. Um, it's, uh, you know, the OPs, I don't need to tell you guys, it's, it's a truly classic sports casual watch. Um, so again, why people are buying these things, you know, either as a very solid investment or as a daily wearer, that's not the standard black um, or grey, uh, as most of mine are. However, having said that, I rarely uh, match my watches and clothes, I mean, mostly because my clothes are all black and my watches are also something quite similar. Um, but something tells me that this watch is something which most gentlemen are going to are going to kind of want to you know bear in mind and think about that. It's a very bold colour. Um, if you're sartorially challenged, then yeah, okay, maybe you might feel that that matching aspect is a little bit superfluous. So nod to you guys. Um, I can't get away from the fact that 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 it really is you know a very 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 bright colour, very very bold. Um, not in a bad way, um, because it's proving to be incredibly popular. Uh, the dial, um, as of course you would expect, synonymous with the brand through uh, its legibility um, and, and cleanliness. It's, it's so uncluttered and it's so, so, so legible um, from whatever angle. The hour markers, of course, on there are 18 karat gold. And again, most of what you're seeing here, obviously, within the watch is designed and made in-house by uh, the uh, Rolex Fairies. Um, the OP, the new version of the OP, of course, gets uh, the upgraded caliber 3230, um, which is going to be getting you around uh, a 70 hour power reserve. I rarely um, <laughs> time the power reserves on my watches, uh, but anyway, it's the just reference for you. The uh, crown over here is, uh, is screw down. Um, it does come with a, quin a, a twin lock, um, which does then allow for its... Um, it's it's a hundred meter uh, water resistance. Um, I wouldn't envisage uh, diving uh, in this watch or going down to to any great depths. Um, there we go. So you can see that, and of course, it pops out. First position is is winding. Second position then is uh, is is dates. Uh, sorry, time setting. Um, the uh, bracelet uh, again. 
yeah, it's it's, it's the uh, that utterly unmistakable uh, oyster steel, um, slightly narrow, tapering down into the uh, oyster clasp at the bottom, and then of course uh, these ones then come with the um, what's it called again? The Easy Link. I was going to call it the Smooth Link. Easy Link uh, comfort changing uh, sort of extension at, at the bottom there. Um, on the uh, on the back. Um, Make sure the camera's looking. But what you've essentially got is what they call um, a, a a sort of a, a monoblock middle case. Um, then with that uh, bezeled uh, screw down uh, case back. Um, and yeah, the other thing that I, I, I flagged up in my in my other video was these now Twix uh, doubles at uh, nine, six, and three. Sort of add a, an essentially like a. <laughs> An old-fashioned sniper scope to it. Um, unlike uh, the uh, predecessor, uh, the bubble back OPs, these ones, uh, the newer ones, are, are, are much uh, slimmer. Um, so again, I think sort of adding to that that very sort of sporty, classic, elegant uh, style. But then obviously uh, you turn him around and you get that wonderful pop of colour on the front. Um, in my other video of the Silver Surfer, um, it, it was all, virtually all the comments that I received were about, you know, the 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 the, the sizing changes, and it was super polar uh, opinions in in that you know people are either on the thirty six thirty nine side of the fence or the forty one side of the fence. I mean, this one being as it, as it comes in at the thirty six, is as you can see in my hand, which are not necessarily massive, it's it is a little bit smaller. Uh, today I'm wearing my MM200. Um, I'm not going to pop uh, pop this one on on wrist. Pop it next to it, and you can see, yeah, it's it's a little bit smaller uh, than what I'm used to wearing normally. But for many people, yeah, it's at 36. It's the sweet spot. It's what so many people rave about, um, and it's what Rolex have been doing for for many, many, many years. So uh, yeah, long, 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 long may they continue. Um, I talked quite a bit about the Stellars in my, my other video when this colorway was announced, so I'm not going to labor the point here. But again, just to say that my take on these is, you know, is a classic um, Oyster Perpetual with this cool factor thrown in that is clearly a huge, huge success story for Rolex. And again, my other video, I was questioning the rationale for that color direction, um, but I've been proven wrong, <laughs> clearly. Um, happy to admit it, hats off to Rolex for picking a color palette that, that clearly appeals to many, many people. Um, Maybe it's affected me also because in my my recent review of the uh, the Cassie the, the Cassie Oak uh, the G Shock Cassie Oak, um, I, I, my eyes were being drawn to that Killer B version in in yellow and black, and I keep thinking to myself, oh, God, I, don't, I don't know why, but I really really like it. So maybe in my old age, you know, my tastes are changing. Um, so. Okay, an Oyster Perpetual in, in this in this colorway is clearly making a statement. If you're wearing a Rolex, it's Tabasco or Orange. Um, the Commerce Channel is very clear. <laughs> so I'll leave it at that. Um, just to conclude, I really wanted to, to try and get you some very some better close-ups of the inner of the chapter ring, uh, where it has that very faint, uh, but beautifully done um, engraving. Um, it's really, really stunning, but I think I need a macro lens on this camera in order to really, really get a, the adequate shot of it. Um, anyway, the rationale for this video was to, you know, provide a little bit of hot sauce for your wrists, um, help you out if you're thinking about that colorway, you're not seeing it in the flesh, you wanted to see what it looks like. Um, my next video is kind of going to the other end of the spectrum. Uh, watch arrived today from AliExpress that I got on their 1111 sale. That one is mine, not like this one, so that's the kind of thing that I'm going to be reviewing. Um, I'll save that till till next time. I'm not going to spoil uh, the limelight that this one's, uh, yeah, that the Tabasco, uh, the hot sauce committee is going to get. Anyway, guys, uh, thanks as always for your time. Uh, hit the notification bell. Apparently that's the thing that works now on, on the tube. Uh, would be much appreciated. Will really help the channel and thus help to uh, bring more reviews of, of stunning little beasties uh, like this one. Anyway, uh, until next time, guys, this is your host, the Bombardier, as always, signing off. Cheers. <laughs>